Hey, folks, Quillington here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Galactic Civilization 4. We are playing as the Human Alliance here. This is our pre-release beta build game that we've got going on. And uh, we are, this is our warm-up before the full release of the game. I'm trying something a little chunkier again. Uh, yeah, okay, so these colors here do indeed tell you about the control in a zone. This this area, this sector is completely controlled by these guys. This one's here split. It looks like we control the most of the space. Although our opponents have a fair amount of potency in other ways. There's still a pirate ship going on here? Come on, man. Oh, that's our first invasion. Yep, that's the, the invasion from the pirates over here. Oh, sorry, I didn't read the message. My bad. But yes, we reinvaded Kepler. Huzzah. This constructor, yeah, we can't get, we can't get everything. We can, can I move there? No, I'm gonna be a, annoying about it. We can get these three. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, build a mining star base. And yeah, we're still got a bunch of modules queued up. Hopefully we can get some more for our bases. We're gonna get these three over here. Yes, trade is good. Planetary outposts, upgrade housing. Infrastructure support is a new policy we could run. Leads to capital. Colonial Capital Retrofit. Ooh. More housing upgrades. Okay, those will be very useful. Precursor Archaeology makes Precursor Worlds more habitable. I wonder if there's still some out there. On the other hand, Starbase Compstack, first of all, it gives us some Starbase modules. It's great. But also unlocks some new modules for us. Invite Leader's Executive Order. I wonder if that gives us a free leader. No, I think that makes a discount to leaders. I kind of want to do this. Focus on some star bases for a little bit. All right, this fleet, oops, this fleet here is going to come over this way and we're going to try to find that spawning ground for these aliens. There it is over there, which should go fine for us. Although it is guarded, they've got some ships docked in here yeah, for a little bit of extra boost. No battle prediction? That has 100 hit points, three of each attack. Oh, well, you don't get a battle prediction somewhere. What's parked in here? Okay, those are microscopic. Um, do I have to get closer to get a proper like scan of it? It feels like we should be able to crush this. We lost a ship. That's okay, just one tiny ship. That's absolutely fine. A little down on hit points, but that's gonna be okay. All right, we're gonna spot, stop these things from spawning. And now we're gonna go and hunt down the last of them. Yeah, we probably still do need a bit more military. Speaking of, we got a gunboat over there. Sort by attack here. Gunboat. Oops. What happened there? I was just trying to double click on the gunboat. Gunboat here. Oh! Eject all ships. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to group these two gunboats together into a fleet. Yeah. You just stay there and wait for the reinforcements. It's going to be okay. All right. Excellent. We have one supply ship being built. We're going to send the Miram 2. And then, yeah, otherwise we're going to spam out module production. Starbase here is going to get both of these resources. Oh, hold on. There's another resource over here on the side, which I think we can get all three. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Thank you. Uh, you're going to stay there. What is this? Super bacteria. An attempt to create an improved antibiotic has instead produced bacteria that's immune to our treatments. It escaped the lab, and your scientists warned that it's spread on Mars. It can be fatal to infants and the elderly. What are your orders? Quarantine the sick by force if necessary. Authoritarian reduced approval. Prioritize healthcare and make sure the infected get treatment. Compassion reduced manufacturing. Or warn the citizens, allow them to respond as they want. Yeah, that always works out real well. 20 turns reduce growth, but we get more liberty. Um, let's just lock this shit down right away. I don't trust it. You know what? <laughs> After what we've been through, I'm not taking any risk with this sort of thing. There we go. All three of them, we get little lines to show that it'll be in range. Will this 
Get a mining star base. Fantastic. What do you want? Wow, okay. You actually are okay with me right now. Ripe for conquest. Yeah. Wow, you've got a lot of money. Oh my god. You're going to offer me a module, a Technopod Hive, which we're going to be producing. Exploration Treaty, Fog of War, Open Borders for some tech. I'm going to I'm gonna reject this. You know what? I definitely don't want to empower you. Okay, do we have any targets visible over here? We currently do not. I think what I'll do is I'll get my survey ship out of here. Select you. Go auto survey. This also give us a little bit of vision. That's a Thorian ship. And you are another survey ship. We're going to do this and put you on auto survey. And then this fleet over here is going to move over here. And then if we see any targets like that along the way, we'll try to close in on you. Okay. Supply ship, you are going to Mirren 2. So it needs a bit of a kickstart. Yeah, I did build one too many trade ship. Okay. So just stick around here until we get some more trade licenses. Apparently it could send a lot to the Yor, so... Maybe that's going to be okay. Maybe I should just plan on declaring war on Dringan. Just take their one core world. Wipe them out. Starbase comp stack, plus two modules. Let's get interstellar trade for the licenses. You wait there. Gunboat's waiting here. Okay, so I've got, uh, I've got a whole two modules. What do I want to upgrade first? Oh, I still have to send a construction ship over here. To make sure Gordon doesn't fall. Hopefully I remember why I'm building this. I can actually mine this too, but I was thinking of communications one. So what starbase do I want to boost first? I mean, probably a mining one that's mining multiple resources, like say this. Oh, there we go. Right key. Um, this is actually a decent, yeah, economic starbase for Seoul. Starbase range. We don't need starbase range here or the perimeter scanners. That's more range here. I guess the fact that we can increase the range is pretty nice. We can get more um, influence with the perimeter scanners anywhere. There we go. This is what I was thinking. Uh, Xeno Archaeology Lab. Boom. Okay. Those are all the modules I have right now. Okay, boop, boop. What is this one? Oh yeah, life relic. Yeah, it'd be nice to get this. Idle core world. Gabella. Good, okay, so we're gonna have some technopods coming in. Great. Um, this gave manufacturing, this gave manufacturing. I think what I wanna do is, did I already open this? I don't know, kinda wanna open this and then get, well, I guess this has got the double adjacency anyway. Because I think the thing to do is to get a little bit more manufacturing going on over here. Got an okay base. Not much research right now, so we don't have to worry about that. I'll probably plan on opening that tile up. And this fleet here... I could put you on a, What I'm going to do is I'm just going to manually move you a little this way. See if we see any threats. But overall, we're looking to merge you with that fleet over there. Okay. Uh, you can't do anything yet. And you're still going to chill there. Yeah, we'll clearly need more military ships as well. You know, I think massive amounts of scanning here is going to be useful. Drangan, I think they're still fighting this entire time, which is amazing. Oh, yeah, you've merged in. Now, you know what? I'm actually going to send this, this fleet of two ships over here. Because we did see a pirate activity at some point not that long ago, and they might still be around. Oh, I had executive orders. Trade is good. Wait on this. How's our, um, what's our average approval? Oh, it's pretty low. You know what? We're making a decent amount of money. Yeah, that cuts into our income a lot, but I think I'm going to have to go and do the approval booster as well. And we might have to do a little bit more to keep that going. Check to see what planets have lower approval. I don't think it shows it in display here, no. Interstellar trade. Okay, there's our licenses. We could start to get some tourism going on. Weak AI. Just flat out 5% more research? I mean, how do I say no to that? Come on. Trade route. 
Ooh. Poor job curtailing criminal activity. We're gonna spend money, lower crime, increase loyalty. Yeah. Crime is annoying. There's a little pirate fleet. Oh, and another one. I wonder if they have a base over here. We might have to get some more sensor range on some of these stations or something. Constructor. Let's go. And that constructor is going to go over here. Right next to Gordon. And become a communications thing. 8% in rebellions. So we got some time. Do a pass through here. Looks like actually we never did explore all of that. Well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, that's more gunships, which I think I was still probably going to merge with these guys. Oh, yeah. I'm betting they do have a star base over here. How's our hit points? We're slightly damaged. What I might do is just dodge them for a sec here. Give us a chance to get some repairs. I actually don't know how the repair mechanic works in this game. Things do seem to repair over time. I don't know if there's a better positioning for it. All right, you are going to give me a whole Ministry of Tourism for a billion things. Admittedly, you're going to give me a lot of money. That That is true. But no, God, you're rich too. Upgraded lasers. A mission to upgrade lasers. Sure. Did we never do spectrum amplification technology? Weak AI, go. Orbital research labs. I mean, the problem is we're short on modules. Oh, um, we're gonna have some techs later that require us to produce drones. So we're gonna wanna be have that available. Tuck and pod, a little manufacturing, which could be leveled up. Your population capped. Oh, plus one population. So if we build a housing district here, it would get another half population cap. And then we can level it up with a few more things. You know, maybe we'll plan on having you be a little bit bigger. Um, your approval's fine here. It's not fantastic. Although that does have the manufacturing adjacency. This is the population. I don't know. I want some population boosters. Then I think here it's just going to be some very high-level manufacturing zones. Yeah. Oh, and then build yourself a shipyard after you're done that. Or we could build it earlier. Although it would be able to do everything pretty slowly. Yeah, I guess get the manufacturing up first. That's going to be fine. There we go. Just merge up with that. You are going to build a communication starbase. And a cultural awareness thing for more influence. And perimeter scanner also gives us influence growth. As do the sector scanners. I mean, that's eating a bunch of our modules, but I'm kind of okay with that. Ooh, mining drones over here. I mean, it's only for antimatter. Oh, we've got lots of it, but you know what? It's fine. Oh, experimental technology success. Oh, we dug up all three of the things. And we've unlocked a new ship design. Gathered components from alien shipwrecks in three different worlds. Our engineers have analyzed the wrecks and used them. Devise a prototype that makes use of this alien technology. Prototypes are unique ships that are specific to our civilization. Do we not get the ability to build prototypes before this? And while powerful once destroyed the loft forever, we should consider building one to help us explore the galaxy. Oh, is it build a new survey ship or something? Right, I definitely want to pop that. I guess we should be getting more colonial generators. And then build yourself a shipyard. Upgrade your manufacturing. Okay. We'll need to, um, we should design a ship with like extra sensors, assuming that's still something you can do in this game, um, to add to our fleet's revision. Is this our prototype ship? Commander ship, beam attack, the Raptor. Hold on, does that show up? No, it doesn't. Okay. Experimental warship designed by Trillionaire E.G. Arms. The components used in its construction result of his life's work, though tragically he died before construction began. Small hull, 11 shoot, assault. Ship is unique to our factions. Prototypes are unique once they're destroyed, they're gone forever. Construction shot cost is a 10. Oh! So it's microscopic, but it does say commander ship. I wonder if it's going to need a commander? 
Feels like we should build it. And then build some modules. Still want lots of modules, please. God, we have a lot of thulium. Dragon Empire ended its worth Festron. Oh, you were fighting Festron? Hang on. What do we got here? Complete current research. Okay, we'll try to queue up something expensive and then do that. Ooh, bonus to farming somewhere. Now, we could make a place an actual farming world. Right now, Earth still generates more food than anything else. So if we're going to build anything that adds percentage food, yeah, and more usable tiles. Um, unless... I don't know. To me, it feels like it makes sense to concentrate things. Let's just keep buffing Earth. Speaking of Earth... Yeah, high-level research district, please. Or, hold on. Coordination. Well, it's one per player, but it's plus two research. And then it gives you more control and creativity. Yeah, I should have built that sooner. I think I should have built that sooner. Go with this for now. Don't build these. Garrison's one per planet. I don't know how important I need to build the resistance. This does give research adjacency bonuses. I don't know if I need the influence here, but you know what? Let's get it going. We could do some wealth things with the Tholium Extractor. This could be a whole wealth block over here. Want to move the research thing somewhere else? Just here. Well, this is finance because our base wealth, base wealth on this planet's not bad, and we clearly could use more money overall. Okay, I think I'm okay with that. War fleet, attack the pirates. Pew pew pew. Done. Drone production, which I think we make at the star bases as well. Espionage, orbital research labs, more quality, precursor worlds better. Better missile stuff. Well, I actually don't like, I feel like there's some level of threats that we're not really dealing with. We already need some drones here. This is, oh, this is Earth. I'm surprised. Wow, that is a slow production queue. Wow. You know what? We probably could do a little bit more colonization. There. Where's this? Oh, that's in the other... Yeah, so there's only one more place in our sector, and it's here. It would send some production to Kepler, but it's not god tier. I don't think I'm going to stress about getting that going on right away. Commandership. I don't see the Raptor in the list. Is that just what they're calling the prototype ships? They say prototype in one place. Oh, it's got that little symbol. I've seen others with that symbol. All right, I'm going to move you over here. Well, you're not even very quick. Should I have done a design of this thing? I don't know if that one was designable. Or if it's going to be retrofitable or anything. Anyway, I'm going to get you to merge up over here. Trade offer. You'll give me Durantium. Environmental engineering, which is five turns. Oh, I might want to insta-research this. Or, hang on. Snugglers. It's going to be a lot of tech, but I kind of want to be buds with you, man. I'm... Am I trying to cut culture flip one of your planets? Or am I trying to preserve my own? Yeah, I'm just trying to preserve my own, man. So yeah, I'm not going to do the colony ship. Yeah, just modules. Okay. And speaking of, we've got a module, so if this thing can get another... Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that one. Oh, Technopod Mining Unit. Oh, so this costs us a Technopod Hive. 
We've got to accu accumulate three of these, though. So that we can build the wonder and get a bunch of prestige points. We are generating those, so we'll be able to build some more later. But yeah, let's just hold off for a sec. I might want to give you some weaponry at some point. It's interesting, though. It's not even an option for this, as opposed to the other survey ships. Give me some movement. So at some point, is going to start running low on space here. Yeah, merge into this, please. Thank you. And then you're going to come over here, and we'll see what we can see. Pirate scrap. Ooh. Scans indicate this is the remains of a pirate warship, cobbled together from parts stolen from various species and something barely spaceworthy. Well, not anymore. The only unique technology is an environmental shield that's allowed the pirates to travel freely in nebulas. It seems they knew what they had, however, and it is set to detonate if tampered with. But if we did risk recovering it, we can use it as a shield up or ship upgrade. We could scrap it get to Durantium. We could drain it and get Prometheum. Or we can try to recover it and, with a 93% chance, presumably get a free part for our ship. I'm tempted by the Durantium, though, because we really don't have much. But I guess we'll do this. 93% chance. Free environmental ship upgrade. Or shield upgrade. Which, is that worth it versus the Durantium? Maybe. Did it get applied automatically? So I like that this is going to add a movement to the entire fleet. This one here is a base movement of 9. Let's give it the Slipstream Accelerator. I think it gave us the wrong upgrade, but that's okay. So let's move that up to a 10, and yeah, we'll boost fleet movement as well, which might be useful later. We might want to give that ship a little bit more base movement as well. And we're going to, at some point, have to standardize on a certain speed for our fleets. Where did that guy go? Oh, they did have a shipyard over here. Ahaha! I thought they might. Improved missile targeting. Um, okay, we're going to pick this one and insta-complete it. Seven turns, the most expensive tech we could do at that time. Starbase defense grid, that will be really useful and give us some more modules immediately. Uh, you know what? Let's unlock the fusion power plant and see what that does for our worlds. Thank you for blowing that up. And then or we're going to plan on trying to chase this guy down, please. There might be some more stuff in the Fog of War here. We'll see. Boom, boom, boom. Great. Then, yeah, we'll just send you over this way. Well, first of all, hold on. I'm betting we can do some more asteroid mining. Yeah, we can build at least two asteroid miners. So let's get a couple of those. And then we'll throw in a module, and then we'll see what's up. And speaking of, we've got tons of modules. There you go. The terrain over here is getting a little bit better. Yeah, I don't want to build that. Orbital replicators for manufacturing boost. Yes, please. Mining drones. Mining drones. Now, we might want to build some perimeter scanners somewhere. Okay. Let's take a look at what's on a border somewhere, and we might want a little bit of push. Um, I mean, this one wouldn't be a terrible idea. Or this one. Actually, we'd probably just appreciate the vision here. Perimeter scanners, sector scanners. Like, using it for actual vision range in this area is going to be pretty useful. Because it's a lot of empty space. The other thing that might be nice is a space station here to keep an eye on the Drengen. Open world, open borders, very good. Good, okay. Fusion power plant. One per planet. It gives huge adjacency bonuses. Maybe I should... Ooh. Oh, there's a Spectrum and um, Application Tech. And that is a rare. I don't know if all the rares are always purple. Does it even show up in the tech tree? No. Oh, wait, yes. Although I don't see any other... Per maybe it's... Maybe it's semi-secret. Secret. All right. Spectrum amplification. That'll complete a quest, which gives us a culture point, I think. 
Oh, I could draft colonists. You know, let's do it. And we can go and colonize over here. Which hopefully will be safe to do without killing us this time. Asteroid miners, go. Any asteroids over here? Oh, some over here. Now, I'm assuming the asteroids have a decay radius thing as well, but I'm not sure. Okay, it looks like this is clear. I'm going to send the fleet over here just in case the uh, colony ship maybe runs into something. And then, yeah, construction ship for these areas would be very nice too. Still a bit module locked, but it'd be nice to grab control over this. for these guys, more attack. You know what? Let's start throwing some movement on there. Okay, we'll get um, this mirror. Okay, we'll get a constructor here because it's a little closer to the front. That's going to be okay. We're going to run these research missions as well. You spend uh, Prometheum, but you get a boost to research. What's a study of the surrounding area? So I actually don't know what it does. Let's run one. I'd assumed it was just generating some research for us, but that may not be the case. And yeah, we will need some more asteroid mines. Or asteroid miners, I should say. Yeah, I didn't really want to put any stress on a relationship with these guys, but I really didn't want to lose Gordon. Yorv got this, wow. Now the Dringen have not had a good game all game. Yeah, the Festin are going crazy here. Oh, a bunch of faction power. I wonder if that's something I can do with more leaders. Maybe I should just be building more leaders. Do you have a decay stat? You do have a distance. So, I don't know. Doesn't say it. Uh, good to the past. Begin to so wish to give the remaining power. Use resource strike back to drain it. I'm sorry, are you... Are you... Surrendering to me? Okay. Okay. Can't quell protests as a governor, but... Oh, you've got low, uh... Here, you've got good, um, good loyalty. New core world of Toria. And we do get to inherit the stuff that was on some of these things. Wow, ooh, you have a lot of citizens. You're 11 over 9. Okay. Um, huh. Tons of manufacturing. Yeah, your manufacturing is actually crazy here. Wow, what a great planet. I mean, it's a homeworld planet, so it makes sense that it should be very strong. Capital mainframe. Oh, we get a second one because it's one per player. So we got two. We do this, we can put another research lab right there. That wouldn't be bad at all. Okay. And then we'll get a shipyard building. Actually, let's do the shipyard first. Huh. So I'm guessing their influence is going to drop away in a sec. Because they shouldn't exist anymore? Wow. There we go. Wow. Well, this took a turn to good for us. I think I'm going to have to put out a couple more constructor ships because I think there's going to be some more star bases we're going to want to pick up over here because I think the star bases all went away. At some point, we're going to have to declare war there. I think I think we've got a plan to go to war against the Drengen. How are they militaristically here? What's their trait? Um, military power fourth. We're third. So we've got more military strength than they do. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. Didn't actually defect. We can build more asteroid things. Okay, well, we're going to put a cut in here. We're going to save this, but... 
Yeah, if we do, if we take out the Drangan, which shouldn't be difficult at all, I don't think, then it'll just be us and the Yor in this cluster. And yeah, our uh, prestige score went up a fair bit. When can we build the Grand Menagerie? We need, we're still waiting on one more Technopod Hive, which we will get in two turns, and then we can start the construction of this on one of our planets. That'll give us potentially double prestige, or it'll crash the game. You know, one way or another. Uh, something will happen. But yeah, the Yor are doing really quite well. I think we've learned a few things about, like, certain production boosts and things, hopefully on this run, that we'll be able to apply on the next one. We'll see. Do I have any modules? I do. Your borders are going to expand as is. That's okay. Yeah, actually, I don't think there's... Except for random perimeter sensors. Yeah, but we're going to be building some new construction ships, and they'll be looking for some upgrades. So that's going to be okay. Um, we should get plenty of resources now, though. Oh, the other thing we can do... Well, there's plenty of un, undefended uh, anomalies, but at some point we can go and hit some of the bigger ones. Is this thing being mined? No. We need to do this Ascension Crystal. Because... Do some of our scores come from Ascension Crystals? Yeah, Ascension Points. Mm-hmm. So, is there just the one victory condition? Well, I'm sure you can kill everyone as well. But there might just be the one victory condition, but because of the missions, a lot of ways to get there. That seems reasonable. I think, actually, I'm going to go ahead and hit this. Okay, we're going to put a cut. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.